Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 23rd of April, Tuesday of the week of Easter 4, Desiderius Erasmus, 1466-1536. Above all else, let peace be sincerely desired. The populace is now incited to war by insinuations and propaganda, by claims that the Englishman is a natural enemy of the Frenchman and the like. Why should an Englishman as an Englishman bear ill will to a Frenchman and not rather goodwill as a man to a man and a Christian to a Christian? How can anything as frivolous as a name outweigh the ties of nature and the bonds of Christianity? The Rhine separates the French from the German, but it cannot divide the Christian from the Christian. The Pyrenees lie between the French and the Spaniards, but cannot break the indisposable bond of communion of the church. A little strip of sea cuts off the English from the French, but though the Atlantic rolls between, it could not sever those joined by nature and still more indissolubly cemented by grace. In private life, one will bear with something in a brother-in-law only because he is a brother-in-law, and cannot one there be anything in another because he's a brother in Christ? If nothing else will move your majesties, not the sense of nature, not respect for religion, not sudden frightful calamity, let the power of the Christian name bring you to concord. How much of the world is Christian? In the midst of the non-Christian world, Christians are as a city set upon a hill to give light. But how will they move the heathen to embrace the faith when they so contend among themselves? If we would bring the Turks to Christianity, we must first be Christians. And the prayer, William Bright, 1824-1901. O oh God, by whom the meek are guided in judgment and light rises up in darkness for the godly, grant us in all our doubts and uncertainties the grace to ask what thou wouldest have us do, that the spirit of wisdom may save us from all false choices, and that in thy light we may see light, and in thy straight path may not stumble. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.